What is up guys, J4 Gaming here and welcome to my new career mode on F1 2015. I felt like I wanted to bring this out right now. I was going to wait a little bit longer, but with my F1 XL highlights finishing and there won't be any of them until the 2016 game, I thought. Along with my uh, Bernie Spin of Fate series, I'm going to go for this career mode and I am going to go as Jules Bianchi. Obviously, we all know what happened to him. He was a... Uh, such a tragedy he was gonna be one of the best drivers in f1 in my opinion probably would have been driving ferrari in this current season i reckon being uh teammates with sebastian vettel so i'm gonna go for the 2014 season as jules bianchi in the M marussia was a marussia back then i think it was just thinking back just want to have a good old season with him try and get some points and try and re recreate the points that he got at that uh, Monaco Grand Prix, that fantastic performance he put in. And yeah, I'm going to go for a, a full season just like this. Um, I just realised this on Quick Race, you could do this. And I was just thinking, is this exactly the same as Season Challenge? But uh, Season Challenge is a bit of a glorified name. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it this way, just to see if anything's actually any different. And because I'm going to be in a Marusi, I'm going to make it 25%. Because I, I feel like if I go for 50%, I'm going to be f too far off the pace. And this will make it more competitive. And my teammate is Max Chilton. Uh, Max Chilton, what the hell? Well, uh, Max uh, Chilton even. So, yeah, best finish of 11th place before this season. So, hopefully I can get a few points for Jules Bianchi this season. And hopefully it'll be a bit of a tribute to him. So, just going to change up the settings for this season. And it's going to be 25%, the normal dynamic, and I'm actually going to go for one-shot qualifying. I've noticed that qualifying's usually a little bit more mixed up when this option's on, and I can't be bothered doing the full session. So I think that's something that's going to make uh, qualifying a little more interesting, and it'll be on the legend difficulty, so <laughs> that's going to make things very challenging. I'm expecting this car to be awful, so... To get points in this uh, Marussia is going to be very tricky and me calling in a Marussia all season. If I can get through that, then I can get through anything. So let's do this into qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix. One shot is going off now because I haven't done any practice. I've been ill recently, so I haven't played this game too often. This is the first time I'm actually using the 2014 cars on this game. So I'm not expecting much here. And as you can see into the fast chicane, I get an awful line through there. So much understeer with this car. This car feels horrific, even with a setup on. Though that setup was tailored to uh, Lotus earlier on. But oh, we're struggling through the final corner. We've hit the barrier. Where are we going to end up after this? Okay lap, a few incidents, a few mistakes. Hamilton's on pole by the looks of things. And let's see where we've put Jules Bianchi in the Australian Grand Prix. He looks happy. So, is that a good thing? I don't know. Does that mean we're just off the back of the, uh, off the final row of the grid? Let's have a look. Nico Rosberg. Nico Rosberg. The two Mercedes. Wow. Put in an identical time. That's absolutely amazing. Miles ahead of the rest. Maybe that's a sign for the rest of the season. But where did we end up? Obviously, that's the main thing here. We'll scroll down and 17th position. 3.7 seconds off. It wasn't a great lap. Obviously, it wasn't a clean lap, but... Yeah, that's not too bad in uh, Marussia, so overall pretty happy with that. So now for the start of the Australian Grand Prix. So as we look at the strategy, considering starting on prize, but I think in this first race I want to try and make up as many positions as I can from the start. I think that's going to be a key thing in this season, because we have potentially the worst car on the grid along with Caterham. So five lights, and away we go. Do we get a good start? Oh, we're sliding all over. Oh, we nearly lost control there. We lost a couple of positions to a Caterham as well. We're looking for a line around the outside. Our braking is so unstable. But Kobe Ashley, where the hell did he come from? We've got our position back. We're back into 17th where we started. So we might have to go for a bit of a dive bomb into turn three here. Try and make up a position or two up there inside of Gutierrez and Grosjean. But Grosjean's still there, so we're going to have to fight with him. Round the outside, that's a very nice move indeed from Jules. Um, that's a very good one. So we're up to 15. Made up a few positions, but I think a point finish is going to be very tricky. On Legend AI in this Marussia, yeah. this car, from the early goings, does not feel good at all. So much understeer. And are we going to look for a move on the inside of Kvyat? No, we don't. 
So we're settling into 15th. Hopefully we can stay with the cars ahead. And we kind of do. We're right on the back of Kvyat. And we actually go for this move around the outside. I didn't expect to do that. And that could be us up into 14th. No, it's not. We're still side by side with the Torosso driver. And we still can't get this position. He's fighting so hard. And there we go. Finally up to 14th. And now to try and catch up to his teammate John Eric Verne in the other Toro Rosso. So this is going to be a key test here. Can we catch up to the Toro Rosso ahead? Can we maintain the gap of around two seconds? Or are we just going to drop off and have a huge train? Well, on to lap four here. We did drop off from Verne a little bit. But we weren't, we weren't uh, holding much of a truly train as we ne nearly lose control. Oh, so close to go into the wall there and Kvyat's fought his way past us but we're going to use a slipstream we're going to try and fight back here can we go for a move we're going to try and go for a switch back but I think he yeah he'll begin DRS but let's see how powerful the slipstream is here can we go for the move into turn three fight him back trying to outbreak Kvyat and have we got it done we've given him enough room this battle's pretty good another switch back and can we get Kvyat? This is such a great battle. This would be awesome if we can battle with cars like this all season. We really want that 14th position because it looks like we're not going to get much higher unless there's an incident or two so close there to contact. But fighting all the way through. And we've got Grosjean just behind us. This battle is bringing him into play. So we could have a pretty good battle here for 14th position. Who would have thought it? But... Yeah, is Grosjean on our tail? He could be. But we're going up to Rich Mix. Let's see if we can get a good run through the chicane. And go, go for move on Kvyat. That's a pretty decent run. We do slide off the track a little bit. But we do get a good run overall up the inside. Let's get this move done and get our 14th position back. Uh, we're sliding slightly wide, but we've got it done. There we go. Great move there. And oh my god, Kvyat's fighting back once again. Why won't he leave me alone? And this is actually his debut as well, thinking back. So, he's put in a great performance so far. And he fights back, gets the position done. But my tyres are not feeling good at all now. I, I was thinking at this point, I might pitch at the end of this lap. Unless we can get Kvyat back once again. I'm not sure we, why, why, why we don't have DRS. What the hell am I on about why, why we... Uh, yeah, why don't we have DRS? That's a strange one. But I think, are we going to go for a move here once again? Yes, it's going to be a dive bomb once again. We were all locked up. We've made contact this time. We've pushed him off the track. But once again, we're still side by side. This time, I'm going to go round the outside. But we don't have the grip. The car's under steering like mad. Grosjean's trying to get past us. Oh, look at that oversteer. Uh, understeer there. It's horrific. And I thought, yes, I've got to come into the pits at the end of this lap. This is the only way I'm going to get Kvyat back. And it's going to have to be through the undercut route. So we are at the end of the pit lane, so I'm going to skip most of that uh, for the rest of this season. No one wants to see that. So going on to the prize, uh, what should be our one star? Oh, we've held up Max. I'm sorry, Max. I didn't know you were coming in, but we've come out just ahead of Gutierrez in the Sauber. Down to 19th, but I'm pretty sure a few people haven't pitted yet on most of the field. Because we are one of the early stoppers. So... Is there anyone in the pit? Yes, there is. Kobayashi's in there. Sutil is as well. So that's us up into 16th place. Hopefully a few other cars pit and we gain some more positions. That's uh, That would signal that our undercut has worked. And who is that? Is that Kvyat? Yes, it is Kvyat coming out of the pits. It hasn't worked yet. But if we can go for a move here and get just ahead of him, then we could... Get, regain our 14th position. Here we go. Go for the move into the famous turn 3 where me and him have had quite a few battles this race already. And he's still there. He keeps his nose in. But round the outside, this time we get it done. There we go. The undercut has worked up to 14th place. But all this battling with Kvyat means we're very far behind the rest of the field. And Vern is now nearly 9 seconds ahead of us. So in terms of getting a position, it's going to be very tricky. A couple of other cars have pitted. But look at that. On the uh, standings indicator, Hamilton is out of the race. Hamilton has gifted the win pretty much to Rosberg. We're up to 11th. We're on the cusp of points. We've got a bit of a trend forming now because our tyres are starting to go off. And Kvyat's put me under serious pressure. But if you notice something, look at the car which is just behind him. It's actually Sebastian Vettel. In, I nearly said in the Ferrari there. In the Red Bull. So we're going to be under serious pressure here from Vettel because... 
He's made a second pit stop for some reason. He's obviously got serious pace. He's a lot quicker than us. And he's going for moving us here around the outside. And he's going to go for it on the option tyres. And I think we've tried... Oh, we tried to force him off there, but he's come from nowhere. Look at that grip. That's a fantastic move from Sebastian. Ah, oh, this is really upsetting me because it means we might not get a point. We could, have, we could be so close to getting points on our first race of the 2014 season as Bianchi. Oh, so disappointing. We're not going to see Vettel again. You can see he's gone off so quickly into the distance. And now we've got Hulkenberg attacking us. Go for a move round, uh, down the inside, but we're going to hang around the outside and defend our position. That's a great defensive move there. And I would be very happy with an 11th place here, but oh, so close to points. So we're on the final lap here. Our tyres feel pretty bad, especially our front tyres. So we're struggling for grip. And you can see here we're locking up. Obviously trying to make it exciting for the final lap, only joking. But uh, yeah, mistake there. Hulkenberg's looking for a move, but no. He's got himself in a battle with Kvyat. So if we can hold these two off, we could have a very solid finish for the first race of the season. And I'd be pretty happy with that, so... Here we go, we're struggling in terms of traction for this section. And Hulkenberg's going for a move, we didn't cover it off quick enough. On the inside, can we defend once again? We're side by side through this section. This could be so close. And I had to cut the corner there. I had to do it. Otherwise, I think I would have gone into the side of Hulkenberg. And 11th is better than 12th. So, yeah, you guys didn't see that either. So, we're defending our position. And we're coming through the final sector to finish the Australian Grand Prix. Can we finish and keep the car in 11th? Which would be a great achievement for Marussia and would equal their best finish at the time as well. So, very happy with this. But Hulkenberg's actually quite close. He's gonna have DRS. He's gonna go for a move. We're gonna have to cover this off to the line. We're gonna hit him. And I think we defended 11th place there. Good defensive drive there in the end. Look at that train of cars at the end. And that could be a bit of a common sight this season. Depends what our pace is gonna be like. But Jules is happy with that one. I'm happy with that one. Hope you guys are as well. Hope you've enjoyed that video. So here are the results. Rosberg absolutely dominated that race after Hamilton retired. Easily takes the win from Bottas and Alonso. So Ferrari not so bad this season so far. And there we go. Vettel took 10th. And yeah, just ahead of... I say just ahead of us. He pulled out a 13 second gap over us. 11th place. That's a solid first race of the season. Next time out Malaysia, I think it's going to be very tricky. Unless we do have a decent straight line speed setup. Which I'm kind of famous for, so I might go for that. The only retirement is Lewis Hamilton. Teammate didn't finish last, which is always positive. And then we'll have a quick look at the driver standings, which is pretty obvious at this point of the season. As you can see. And then on to the constructors. Which actually shows something surprising. Williams are leading the standings, so solid start for them. So... If you have enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see uh, the rest of this series and my other series on this channel. And I'll catch you in race two, the Malaysian Grand Prix. Goodbye.